How would you compare the Dragon Hot End to the Revo? Um, well, let's see here. So here's both hot ends are at room temperature. Uh, the one degree difference, whatever, close enough, half a degree. Um, on the left is Revo Beta. I'm prefacing this. This is a beta unit. On the right is a Dragon High Flow with a 50 watt. Left is Revo with its 40. Um, Both these are PID tuned in 24 volts as well. This is how you sell a hot end. So remember, on the left is a Revo, 40 watt. On the right is a Dragon High Flow with a 50 watt. Both 24 volts. There you go. So what is that? So 5850, yeah, one minute. Still waiting, still waiting. Oh, hey, made it. So we're gonna let them stabilize. Still in line, okay. So ready, part fan max. Part fan max. Turn the heaters off. Sorry, FL son. Um, your your printer is printing just fine. Thermal mass. It's actually much less thermal mass, but the heater is a better design and is more efficient because we're actually using, well, E3D is using a proper integrated heater heater block instead of just taking an off the shelf item and shoving it in a block of copper like everyone else has been doing, which that's how everyone's been doing it. So when you go to something new, you can get by with having a smaller heater and a more smaller, more efficient design because you're able to respond quicker to the demands of like flow change and whatnot. So, uh, what thermistor? It's a standard, uh, what is it, 104 Semitech or whatever it's called. It's just a standard thermistor. The one that E3 has been using for a while, I guess. Um, uh, Tischofleur 3000. It, it more to do with thermal response. If, if you like to print fast and you're printing, like, you know, you, you run your infill at one speed, you run your outer walls at one speed, your, your flow rate's going to change. And when your flow rate changes like that, um, here, actually, let me scroll this up so you guys can see. Um, when your flow rate changes, the, the, basically, the quicker your hot end can respond, the more consistent your extrusion is going to be. So, so it's going to be a lot more consistent um, and to responses of speed up and slow down of extrusions. So if you start printing slow for a while, you you know, the extrusion's not, you know, sucking heat out of the block and all of a sudden you go from printing, you know, an outer wall at 20 millimeters a second and a small detail to trying to push out, you know, 18 millimeters cubed a second at 120 millimeters a second of infill, the heater can respond to that and you're not going to have that lag in the filament sucking the heat out of the block. I did check this on the same machine uh, before swapping it and the chart looked roughly the same where it was almost double the speed. And yeah, so 120, you get everything, including four nozzles. <laughs> hey, look, oh yeah, we're building a Delta, guys. Look, it's a Delta, it's the FL, FL Sun Super Racer. It's doing Delta things. <laughs> 